Hey, hey guys, welcome to another edition of Easy Home Workouts. In this video, I'm going to show you a workout that you can do at home with that equipment. Welcome back guys, my name is Clark. I've been bodyweight training now for six years. And one of the reasons why I like bodyweight training is that you don't need equipment. And the other reason is that I can work out at home. I don't have to get in my car and travel to a gym. I just hop out of bed, launch into my clothes, and run downstairs and get my workout ready by writing it on the whiteboard, turn my music on, and then uh, I can start. <clears throat> Behind me is where I work out under the carport and there's a running track bar that runs alongside the carport. I measure 10 meters between two cones and depending on uh, the distance, I just run between the two cones. So it's really handy. Today's workout <clears throat> is 10 rounds. And here it is on the screen. One hand release push-up, that's HRPU, followed by Superman. Two push-ups, three squats, four walking lunges, two per leg, and five mountain climbers, five per leg. Uh, there is another workout after that, but I won't talk about that one, and I'll, I'll show another video another time. But I did that back-to-back -back after this one. I think I had about a rest period. Rest is as long as you need, then you launch into the next one. It's like a finisher, really. But this one was a long finisher. Uh, this workout, the first one, uh, took me just under 12 minutes so it just gives you a, a benchmark uh, to help track your progress so I'll show you the workout shortly and I like short workouts uh, not too long for me as I get older I prefer the shorter workouts and they're just as good as long workouts as well up next the workout this is the first round Start off with the hand release push-ups, do one of these. This is a really good overall body exercise, good for your lower body, core, and your upper body. Followed by the supermans, good for your back. Two push-ups. Followed by three squats. Uh, the aim here is to try and get your hips below knee and um, keep your chest up off the ground as well just to maintain that uh, back alignment and this is the walking lunge two per leg key is to push off the front foot when you come back up so all your weight should be on the front foot or front leg this is the mountain climber Nice, steady pace, not too fast. Right, this is the second round. So you do this for 10 rounds. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna move forward to the last round. And this is the last round. Reminder to do the workout in the order written. Try and keep moving at a steady pace. Uh, rest if you need to, but don't rest too long. Otherwise you lose the benefits of the exercise. So that's the end of the workout. And this was the time. 11.50.38 and that's the workout can you see yourself doing this workout? 
if you find the exercise is too difficult to do then change it to make it easier such as do the push-up on your knees do you see the bench press seat behind me you can actually use that to do a push-up just put your arms on the or your hands on the bench press seat and do a push-up that way if that's difficult then stand opposite a wall and then push off the wall until you can get lower to the ground pace yourself go steady don't sacrifice uh, quality for speed it's really important that you do the movements correctly watch some videos to Learn how to do the movements properly. It's really important. Rest if you need to. Don't rest too long. Between exercises or between rounds. And keep moving. When you keep moving, you're one less rep from finishing. Just remember that and don't give up. Until next time, my friends. Find your fit. My fit is bodyweight training and I've been doing it for the last six years almost every day and I love it. Until next time take care and watch out for the next video. Bye for now. Ka kite. Oh, my God.